Tyrants never simply take power. We the people willingly hand it over and then watch helplessly as that power is used against us. Why? Because of fear. Fear and the desire for safety cloud our judgment. When we surrender great power to leaders for protection, we forget that concentration of power often makes us less safe as well as less free. In Star Wars, the Galactic Senate hands over great powers to Chancellor Palpatine to deal with a hostile force. This is a crisis. The Senate must vote the Chancellor emergency powers. He can then approve the creation of an army. This cycle of fear and power isn't just something that happened in a galaxy far, far away. It's happened repeatedly in our history. It can happen again. After an act of terrorism, the newly appointed German Chancellor, yes, that one, exploits people's fears to convince Parliament to give him emergency powers. He then suspends civil liberties and the democratic process altogether. Amazing how emergency powers often outlive the emergency. Similarly, France is in societal upheaval after the French Revolution. A young soldier, Napoleon, promises to protect the fledgling Republic from falling back into oligarchy and legitimates his power through direct votes. And again, in Rome, Julius Caesar's heir, Octavian, is granted special power by the Senate, which he conveniently never relinquishes. There are always those who offer salvation at the cost of liberty, if only they can have great power temporarily. The power you give me, I will lay down when this crisis has abated. Just like in Star Wars, powers are rarely laid down. In Rome, Octavian rides popular support for power and changes his name to Caesar Augustus. The Republic falls, and the people's voice falls with it. An empire is born. Unsatisfied just to be first consul, Napoleon is coronated emperor. France's ethos changes from liberty, equality, fraternity to the imposed order, security, efficiency. Star Wars issues a warning and a challenge about power, security, and liberty. Next time you see a leader exploiting fear for power, will you be part of the resistance? Or will you let the cycle continue?